Everything's gone to hell since we smuggled that filthy creature off-world. First a Justicar shows up, now you. At least I can take pleasure in turning your head into a pulpy mass! Be the ship Samara was looking for. Should we head back to the police station and give her the name or look around first? I wanted to be a Justicar when I was young. Every Asari does, I guess. Thank you for removing the Eclipse threat, Earth Clan. It will take them months to rebuild their organization. Also, merely out of curiosity. When you were poking about, did you perhaps run across a shipping manifest that belongs to me? You never know when something like this might come in handy. If it might change your mind, Earthclad, returning that manifest would be very profitable for you. If you give it to the detective, her reward will be a pat on the back. If you have something that'll encourage the Justicar to leave, show it to her. I've got the name of the ship. Your fugitive left here two days ago on the AML Demeter. Shepard, you impress me. You fulfilled your part of the bargain, and I will fulfill mine. I am ready to leave immediately, if that will satisfy your superiors, Detective. You're free to go, Justicar. It has been an honor having you in my station. And it's nice you didn't kill me, too. The Normandy is docked near the main trading floor. I'll see you aboard. I must be sworn to your service, so that I am never forced to choose between your orders and the code. By the code, I will serve you, Shepard. Your choices are my choices. Your morals are my morals. Your wishes are my code. I never thought I'd see a Justicar swear an oath like that. If you make me do anything extremely dishonorable, I may need to kill you when I'm released from my oath. You'll be a great asset to our mission. I'm excited to have you along. I am glad to hear it. I will fight by your side, kill your enemies, and protect your friends. Shall we return to your ship? I'd like to look around a bit first. Very well. Thanks for getting Samara out of my district. I can tell my granddaughters about meeting a Justicar. And you've just upped my chances of living long enough to have grandkids. I have proof that Eclipse killed the Volus merchant. Let's see what you got there. Interesting. But I can't verify it. It would be inadmissible. I vouch for Shepard and any evidence she brings forward. 
I accept the judgment of the Justicar. Thanks, Shepard. I wasn't sure about trusting a stranger, and a human at that. But you came through. Never heard of this Elnora. Sounds like she was just starting her career. Good thing you cut it short. Okay, enough with all the congratulations. I've still got a spiraling crime rate. I have proof that Pitney 4 smuggled in red sand and illegal weapons tech. I'll send in some officers to arrest him and his cohorts. This is a big help, Shepard. I can't do much to thank you, but we do have a small discretionary bounty fund. Take this. I'll be on my way. Be well. Value the Justicar. I've never heard of one working with a human before. I'm still grounded. What's going on? Welcome to the Normandy, Samara. I've studied your profile extensively. With your skills, I think you'll be an excellent addition to our team. Thank you. From an organization such as yours, that is high praise indeed. I've seen Samara's biotic powers at work. They're substantial. We still don't know what we're gonna find when we hit the Collectors. I will be prepared for whatever we encounter. Where shall we put you? A room that looks out on the great empty void would be most comforting. Put her in the observation room on deck three. Thank you. I must meditate on the day's events. So, Commander, even your Asari are trained killers? You get everyone at the same store or something? I assume everything's going well up here? Shh! 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 Joker? I can tell when it's listening. I am always listening, Mr. Moreau. I know! That's it for now. See you, Commander. Yes, Shepard. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. There is nothing more absolute than the oath of an Asari Justicar. You did well getting Samara on our side. She is so elegant and gorgeous. Too bad her manner is just so... cold. I didn't recruit her for her looks. The Normandy already has you, Kelly. Oh, Shepard. I wish there were time to get to know you better. Why don't you join me in my cabin for a meal? It would give us the chance to talk. That sounds wonderful. I've been hoping for some private time with you. Lead the way. Goodness. I haven't stayed up that late since my college days. I had a wonderful evening. Thank you, Shepard. I noticed the fish tank up in your cabin. If you'd like, I could feed your fish while you're away. I'd appreciate that, Kelly. It's my pleasure. Anyway, what's up? Is there anything I should know? Jack would like to see you down in her hidey hole on the engineering deck. Grunt seems very anxious, pacing down in the cargo hold. You might want to check in on him. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Good luck out there, Shepard. Grunt seems very agitated. You may want to check in on him. Chambers said you're tearing up the place. Something wrong? Something is wrong, Shepard. I feel wrong. Tense. I just want to kill something. With my hands. More so than usual. Like it's not my choice. Like I just want to... I don't know. 
see. Why do that? What's wrong? Pure Krogan probably starts more aggressive than most. I'm not seeing this as a particularly big shift. Doesn't matter if it's normal. I'm not. I'm not used to this... this noise. I want control. When we're moving, fighting, I focus. But here, my blood screams, my plates itch. And even you are just noise. I'm tank-born. What is this? Edie, anything in your files about Krogan diseases that could cause this? Cerberus has a number of autopsies on file, but nothing on a living Krogan of this age and situation. Krogan are reluctant to share medical records. My people were defeated by doctors and labs. They will never let stuff like that leave the homeworld to Chunka. Joker can get us to the Krogan homeworld. I need everyone at their best. Thank you, Shepard. I don't like this. Fury is my choice, not a sickness. I got thoughts, like little bugs crawling in and out of my head. I can't stop them. You know I have a history with Cerberus. You know how far back it goes? I'll listen to anything you have to say, Jack. Your pal, the elusive man? Never seen him before, but Cerberus raised me. First thing I remember is my cell door in a Cerberus base. They did experiments, drugged me, tortured me. Whatever chance I had to be normal, they stole it by trying to turn me into some superbiotic. The doctors. The other kids. Every one of them hated me. They let me suffer. What did they hope to gain by torturing a little girl? It was something about pain breaking down mental barriers and how it might clear the way for a more biotic power. I'm sure there was a payoff due at some point, but I wasn't gonna see it. I was wired up in a cell. They tortured you just to see if they could make a strong biotic? That's it? Wasn't in a position to ask, Shepard. All I know is a little girl crying in a cell, begging for the pain to stop. How did you get out of there? There was some kind of emergency, and I made a break for it. The other kids came out of their cells and attacked me. So did the guards. I just killed everything in my way and ran. Guess my biotics had developed faster than they thought. I managed to get a shuttle off the ground. Drifted until a freighter picked me up. The crew used me, then sold me. That's my uplifting escape story. There were other children in the base? I didn't know much about them. I was kept separate. They hated me just like everyone else there. When I broke out, I had to fight through them all. I showed them, but there's a loose end I need to deal with. What did they hope to gain by torturing a little girl? It was something about pain breaking down mental barriers and how it might clear the way for a more biotic power. I'm sure there was a payoff due at some point, but I wasn't gonna see it. I was wired up in a cell. You're absolutely certain that Cerberus was running the facility? I was a kid, but I wasn't dumb. I know how to listen. It was Cerberus. Don't care how far down the chain it was. They thought they were so clever. Turns out, mess with someone's head enough and you can turn a scared kid into an all-powerful bitch. Fucking idiots. Sounds like they've done a serious 180 since those days. I'm not trying to convince you of something, Shepard. I don't care what they're doing now. I found the coordinates in your files. I want to go to the Telton facility on Pragia, where they tortured and drugged me. I want to go to the center of the place, my cell. I want to deploy a big fucking bomb, and I want to watch from orbit when it goes. Jack, you can't hang on to this. It's messing you up. Yeah, great advice, but I've been messed up for years. No thanks to them. The only way I put that place behind me is to watch it burn. I'll set a course for Pragia. I owe you, Shepard.
Shepard, how are you? I've spent much of the last 400 years on my own. It is nice to have a colleague to chat with. I may be rusty at it, however. If you are patient, I would love to talk. How much do you know about our mission? I know that I've sworn an oath to follow you, and that you seek to destroy the Collectors. That is enough for me. You don't want to know why the Collectors need to be fought? When you live by a code that compels you to harsh action, you learn the dangers of curiosity. If I must kill a man because he has done wrong, do I really wish to know that he is a devoted father? I'd like to hear more about the criminal you were chasing on Nos Ostra. I hope you will understand if I wish to avoid this topic. It is deeply tied to my code and beliefs. You might say it is personal. I need to know if this will impact the mission. It will not. What do you think of Cerberus? I've heard rumors, but learned long ago to form my own impressions. There is too much room for interpretation in the opinions of others. Why were you willing to work for Cerberus when you didn't have first-hand knowledge? I work for you, Shepard. Our methods may be different, but our goals are not. I should get back to work. It has been my pleasure, Commander. Thanks again, Shepard. Taking the time to help me with my sister. I couldn't have reached Ariana in time without your help. I'm glad Niket tried to redeem himself. For what good it did. Thank you for stopping me, Commander. Let me know if I can do anything else. I think I got it from here. My father has no chance at finding her family in their new location. But thank you, Commander. My sister is safe again thanks in large part to you. I won't forget that. Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. Thank you, Commander. Rupert put the new supplies to good use. Commander, I very much enjoyed sharing that ice brandy with you. But I hope I wasn't too unprofessional. Brandy goes straight to my head. It's nice to see you let your hair down. Well, promise me we'll share a bottle every year. The next one is on me.